Hi fellow artists, my name is Lauren and I'm the artist behind Potato Art Studios. In today's video, I'll be unboxing my Jackson's art supply order containing soft pastels. If you're curious about international shipping, placing international orders, or just want to see live swatches of the brands Art Spectrum and Dollar and Rowney, keep on watching. Timestamps will be linked for each section if you'd like to skip ahead. I just received my box today for obvious reasons. My personal info is covered. The shipping label on the front is also the customs declaration form that's required for all international packages. I ordered from Jackson's Art Supply, which is a UK-based European art supply distributor, and I live in the US in the state of California. Jackson's has been around since 2000, and I've personally ordered from them since 2018. I've made several un videos unboxing large paper orders and pastel sets that will be linked here and in this description box. Before I open a box, I always check the condition of the box for damage or an indication that it was opened for customs. There are just a few dents, but really it's nothing to worry about. In my personal experience, I've received one box from Jackson's that did have some minor water damage in the winter but the contents were bagged in plastic and the thing was received damaged. If your order does have some damage, Jackson's has a page about returns and how to contact customer service. This box has a nice easy to tear tab. packing slip is right on top and there's a note about the packaging peanuts which is nice. Everything is really really nicely bundled here. I'll get the peanuts out of the way and we can get to the unboxing. First up are the pencil sharpeners. I ordered three cheap double hole sharpeners. You can never have too many sharpeners. And I ordered a second Mobius and Rupert brass pencil sharpener. If you use pastel or charcoal pencils, I can't recommend this sharpener enough. I wrote an entire blog post about this wonderful sharpener that I'll link to below. But here's what I've been most excited for, the pastels. Since the last time I ordered open stock pastel sticks, Jackson's has changed up their packaging quite a lot. This time it looks like they've chosen to recycle or repurpose packaging from the brand Sennelier, and I'm all for recycling, so this is great to see. I ordered 21 pastels, and it looks like each box contains three pastel sticks. If you're not familiar with pastels, they are fragile just like charcoal sticks. Pastels are made with mostly pigment and a tiny bit of binder. So although a pastel stick would not be unusable if it were to break into a couple pieces, it's definitely not preferred to have the pastels arrive in a pile of dust. Seeing the recycled Sennelier packaging is a huge relief because I've purchased from this brand before and they've all arrived in excellent condition. Both Dollar Rowney and Art Spectrum pastels fit nicely into the Sennelier boxes. I decided to purchase these two brands because I was looking for medium to medium firm pastels that could supplement the colors I already own. I used this handy guide from Dakota Pastels to narrow down which brands I would try next. I'll leave a link to this resource in the description box if you'd like to check it out. Over the years, I've purchased a few generic assorted sets and a few curated sets from the brands Rembrandt, Sennelier, and Schmincke. At this point, I have a pretty good gauge of the gaps in my color range and an inventory of colors I already own. If you're new to any medium, I always, always recommend purchasing a small assorted set or a handful of individual colors before committing to making a larger purchase 
If you also happen to purchase open stock or individual pastel colors, here's a closer look at what the packaging might look like. For the Sennelier boxes, the top layer of foam is about a quarter of an inch thick, and each pastel stick is separated from another and insulated on all sides. If you didn't need to use the pastels right away, this box would be a great way to store them. One habit I've gotten into after ordering art supplies for over a decade is to double check the contents with the packing slip. Usually companies will have a 21 or 30 day window to file a complaint for damaged or missing items, and it's always a good idea to check that you received all the items you ordered. With Jackson's Art Supply, they have a page on their site for order returns and damaged items. I thankfully have not had to contact Jackson's about damaged orders. However, I have dealt with missing and damaged items from the US retailers Blick and Jerry's Artorama. For minor issues such as a missing pencil, they typically credit your payment method. For larger issues such as damage to an expensive item, they may require photo evidence of the damage and require that the item be shipped back. When the warehouse receives the damaged item, they'll either send a replacement or issue a refund depending on the customer's preference. While checking my order, everything that was supposed to be included was included, so we are all good here. Whenever I get new pastels, I like to do a quick color chart just to get a feel for the firmness, color payoff, and opacity. I'm making a 1 inch square swatch on dark grey pastel mat from the brand Clairefontaine and I'm filming using daylight rated light bulbs, but due to the limitations of the settings of my camera, I'll also include separate photos of the swatches at the end. Art Spectrum and Dalla Rowney have been on my radar for quite a while. Art Spectrum is an Australian brand and Dalla Rowney is from the UK. I specifically wanted to buy Art Spectrum because of their darker colors and unique neutrals. This is the official color chart from Art Spectrum and I'll link their site in the description box. Unfortunately, by the time I placed my order, a few of the colors I had wanted to pick up were already out of stock. Although Art Spectrum calls their line soft pastels, I would personally consider this a solid medium if you've used Rembrandt pastels, which are probably the most commonly available artist grade pastel in the US, this is slightly larger than a Rembrandt, but just a little softer. When I started swatching the darker colors, the reds had a few scratchy pigment pieces, which is why you see me hesitating a little while I'm making those swatches. If you didn't already know, Art Spectrum has a total of four separate lines of their soft pastel. The line I chose to order is from their soft round pastel stick line, which has a total of 154 colors. They also make extra soft round pastels, extra soft square pastels, and color fix soft round pastels. Out of the four pastel lines, only the line I ordered from has light fast ratings available. I'm not sure if they're planning on releasing this information on their other products, but as of the time of this video, th that is what their official product manual says. I was distracted by the texture difference of the red colors, so I accidentally swatched one color twice and forgot to include the neutral gray I ordered. In the daylights photo, you can see the true color of all 11 pastels with the color numbers labeled. In the US, Dollar Rowney is not carried by many stores. From my quick research, only the fine art store in New York appears to have these pastels in stock. I was interested in Dollar Rowney at first because of a video Karen Margulis made and she is a pastel artist on YouTube. I'll have her video linked as well with her review. I found it very interesting that with the retail pricing of pastels in the US, Art Spectrum would be classified as an expensive brand priced at $6.85 per stick, and Dollar Rowney would be a modest 
intermediately priced brand at 30% cheaper and priced at $4.79 per stick. However, during the pastel sale on Jackson's site, both brands were priced exactly the same at $2.48 USD. Dollar Rowney, like Art Spectrum, is labeled as a soft pastel, but performs like a standard medium pastel. Because Dollar Rowney is far less popular than the other brands, it was extremely difficult to judge which colors to buy. And on top of that, their, their color chart is made out of digital swatches, so it was very difficult to find the actual colors of the pastels. I wanted to buy Dollar Rowney because I heard a couple of rumors on forums that theorized Dollar Rowney was the manufacturer of the Blick brand pastels here in the US. I deliberately ordered a few colors that would overlap with the small set of Blick artist pastels I already own. And once I have time to do more extensive testing, I'll be sure to report my findings either here on YouTube or on my website in a brand comparison post. Here are the daylight swatches of the Dollar Rowney pastels. Some of the colors I chose were very similar to each other, but they do blend really nicely. And of course, once I have a more thorough review, I will be posting it on my website as well. My order with Jackson's went as smoothly as expected. I chose the cheapest shipping method, which is listed as International Tract Post and cost me $4.50 USD for my 0.6 kilogram order. Jackson's lists that this method should take only five to 10 days for shipping. However, the total time from when I placed my online order to the package arriving at my front door was 21 days. This included one day for order fulfillment and 20 days of the package in transit. While in Europe, the package was handled by the company Direct Link, and when the package arrived in the US, it was transferred to the USPS or United States Postal Service. USPS was the carrier that delivered the package to me. The other two shipping options available through Jackson's are FedEx and DHL, with transit times of three to nine days. Both include tracking, and from my observations, FedEx is usually three to five times more expensive than standard, and DHL is the most expensive option, being five to eight times more expensive than standard. And although I can't review FedEx's international delivery service, I have used DHL several times, and they've consistently delivered on time. Because the value of the items I ordered was less than $800 USD, I did not have to pay for any fees for my order. Customs fees or import taxes are different between different countries and the type of goods you're importing. You should always check with the foreign company you're buying from before purchasing because the fee rates can change from year to year and the customer is usually responsible for any fees. If you have any questions about ordering, I found that Jackson's customer service usually replies within one to two business days. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'm also upgrading my video editing software so I can make more art related content. If you've ordered from Jackson's, let us know what you bought in the comments. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.